Welcome back to Boneset Ranch. Today I'm going to start the work to finish this ATV. I've got a few things to do here. I need to take this apart and paint up all the unpainted parts. There is a uh, fender kit that goes on the back here. So I need to put that back on. It comes with a rack so I can make that more useful. And then just clean it all up general and um, take it out for some real tests. I haven't tested it on the back side of the slope yet because I want to get the bearings greased properly and everything protected from the rocks and debris as I go out and try all that. That's going through where I want it to. It's going through this same on the opposite upside. And I will be able to cut that flush once I make sure I don't need that extra thread. So that is going to really hold that on there. Nice. Careful there.
there. You can see it's just a little bit too steep right here. Okay, put the brake on there. So as you can see, it was a kind of a mixed result with this thing. Um, I think I have a very operational hobby ATV here that I can use on the upper portion of the land where it, everything's not too steep and where the uh, chores are like. Be able to haul around some stuff in a little trailer. It'll be fun just to hop on this thing and go for a ride out to the uh, to the mail to pick it up. It's uh, relatively level. There's a couple hills that this thing has no problem handling on the open road, especially with the uh, distance to build up the speed to go up the hill. Unfortunately, it doesn't work well on the backside where it gets really steep. That I'm going to have to save for the UTV, the tracker that I use. Um, and for the tractor, this thing won't be a vehicle for going up and down those hills, but um, that's okay. And overall, it'll be a handy little extra. It's been a fun project. It's been a very big learning curve for me in terms of how to get the motor going and uh, stabilize how to make the battery run and i've learned a lot about this and uh, it's emboldened me to be able to take my next step which is swapping out the lead acid battery on my utv which will be the next video uh, i've got a new lithium battery on order that i'm going to install on the utv so i can have the full range plus more back onto that that vehicle because it's very handy for a work around here and after three years the lead acid batteries just aren't holding it anymore. It's certainly not a quad that's going into the landfill now because of what we've done to it, so I think that's a win. Thanks for watching.